You can see that AT tiny 85 from Atmel is presented in front of you in the breadboard. You can now ask a question where do we start it from for the counting of pins. You have a black dot which is visible right on the surface of the IC and that stands as the reference. We are pointing it now and the pin to the left of the dot is the first pin that you need to always remember. 1, 2, 3, 4 and parallelly it comes as 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the order that you need to go ahead every time with with reference to the dot. Only then you can understand which is pin 1 and which is pin 8. Do not forget it. Let's go ahead with the setup. Open an empty sketch. That's the first step. Open an empty sketch. Go to file. Examples. Arduino ISP. Click Arduino ISP. You will get a file opened. Now please follow the steps that we convey step by step. Go to tools. Select board. In that select appropriate board as Arduino Uno and select the appropriate COM port, upload the code, wait for few seconds. Once this is done, you are all set to go to the next level. Now open an empty sketch. In parallel, we have shown you the connections. Please connect AT tiny 85 with Arduino Uno. Once done, please follow the steps. Go to tools, select the apt board as AT tiny 25 Once it is selected, you need to again come to tools and select AT tiny 85 in particular and then again go to tools select the internal clock as 8 MHz and all these are to be followed without fail. Go to tools again see if COM ports are selected appropriately and then go to programmer and select as Arduino as ISP and then click on burn bootloader. This is to be done only for the first time. Remember this burning bootloader option has to be done for only the first time. Once it is done, you get a message as done burning bootloader. Now, what is the next step to go? Upload it. That's it. We have uploaded an empty sketch right now. And once it is done, we are all set to go to the final phase of it. You have got a message as done uploading. And now we need to take the original file. I mean the core file that will let our LED be controlled with 80tiny85. You can see the code, circuit diagram and the connections all in parallel. Here in the code you can see that we are making the LED on and off with AT tiny 85 and in this we have configured LED as pin number 3. Please understand that this is very important to follow. The LED's negative pin must be connected to physical pin 2. Remember it, if this is done as a mistake, it won't work. We are connecting the physical pin 2 of AT tiny to negative of LED. Remember this point. And once it is done, select the appropriate board. Se make sure that your uh, COM ports are selected apt, upload it and once it is done, you will get the results in front of you. The control of LED now happens through AT tiny. We have not used any pins or any support from Arduino Uno other than powering it up. We are using the Arduino Uno just to power up and we have not used any of the digital or analog pins and that's clearly visible. The LED is now controlled out and out through the AT tiny 85. This is the simplest way one can understand how do we control LED or any other equipment through 80 tiny 85 and this serves as the fundamental experiment for it.